Hey everyone, my name is Kate Lillier and I'm an academic advisor here in the School of Communication at Illinois State University. I primarily work with our public relations and our journalism majors. Thank you for taking a few minutes of your time today to watch this video to learn more about what advising in the School of Communication looks like. I'm a very proud two-time Redbird, graduating with a bachelor's degree in public relations in 2007 and with a master's degree in communication in 2010, also from the School of Communication. I transferred from a liberal arts college in Iowa, and I'm so happy that I made it to ISU eventually. After graduating in 2010, I started a career in donor relations and fundraising for OSF St. Joseph's Medical Center, part of OSF Healthcare System. I then relocated to Minnesota with my husband, Tom, where I served as a communications coordinator for a Lutheran church, and later as an administrative assistant and medical secretary for the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Yes, it was very cold there. No, I do not miss the snow. In 2018, we relocated back to Illinois to be closer to family. My family is from Northwest Illinois, and my favorite fun fact is that my high school mascot was a pretzel. I am telling you the truth. You can look it up. Freeport, Illinois, home of the pretzels. I live in Bloomington with my husband, Tom, and our three cats, Bella, Oliver, and New Kid. My favorite things to do are to read, or excuse me, drink coffee and read. I will read just about anything, but Harry Potter is my absolute favorite, as evidenced by the posters on the wall behind me. The School of Communication Advisors take a very proactive approach to advising. We're here to assist you in your undergraduate career, make sure that you complete all requirements and matriculate throughout the program in a timely manner, but we wanna make sure that the courses that you are enrolled in or that you will take in the future will provide you valuable transferable skills for your desired future career. So that being said, I try to incorporate that into my advising sessions with my students. I will start the appointment by asking them to explain why they schedule the appointment, what kinds of things they wanna talk about, and then I just kind of want to check in, see how everything is going. But ultimately, I want to make sure that the skills you are gaining from your courses will be those that will be valuable for you um, in your desired future career. My biggest advice for you for your journey in communication and within the school specifically is to find growth outside the classroom, whatever format this takes. It could take the format of a leadership role in a registered student organization a part-time job in an area that sparks your interest, or possibly studying abroad and becoming a more globalized citizen. Find something that sparks that passion. College provides an amazing opportunity to find yourself and to grow, and I promise you that these opportunities will provide you with significant skills and experiences to benefit you in any career. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. We look forward to working with you here in the School of Communication.